history of high school. Excuse me, Mr. DJ. And I want to be popular. Why? Pretty girls get loud. I do not enjoy our session. I will not be coming back. If your life is exactly the way you want it to be, rock on, buddy. Yes, good morning, Saba. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today to discuss Chad. It's a breakaway hit. I mean, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, well, just to kind of bring our viewers up to date about Chad, uh, Chad is determined to be popular in his first year of high school, but isn't that something that comes naturally? You can't force that, can you? Uh, no, definitely, definitely not. Yeah, because if there was a formula to be popular, I think every kid in high school would follow it, but uh, Chad's not having any good luck, is he? <laughs> no, he's going about it in all the wrong ways, and yeah. And not only trying to be popular, but he's trying to be overly American because he's he's dealing with cultural identity too, isn't he? Um, yeah, although I think his family is pretty American in some ways. And uh, your, your character uh, plays Chad's mother, but she started dating again. How is that working out for her? Um, I, I think um, it would work out great for her. Um, but Chad is having a little bit of a rough time with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's it, you know, she's putting herself out there. And that's a pretty brave thing to do after you've been divorced. And she also has a daughter. How does she and Chad get along together? Um, it's a typical sibling situation, you know, Nikki and Chad, you know, lots of rolling of eyes. Um, you know, I think there's the added layer that Nikki is popular. She's not struggling with finding herself. Um, and so I think that's maybe putting on a little pressure on Chad as well. And Nassim, she is just amazing as Chad, that transformation she goes into. Uh, is she one of the type of actresses that stays in character when she gets in makeup or how does she work the character on set? Um, no, I mean, she, she becomes Chad the second they call action and the second they call cut, then she's the executive producer, then she's the writer, then she's the showrunner. You know, she's wearing so many different hats um, that, that she really can't stay Chad. Obviously she stays in the costume, um, but no, she just becomes Nassim, you know, boss lady, <laughs> like, you know? And, and she really captures that awkward teen look. How long does she stay in makeup before she arrives to set to turn into Chad? Um, you know, the process, I think, I think takes an hour, if I remember correctly. Um, and then she's, you know, she's in that makeup 10, 12 hours. Um, and, I, you know, I, I don't know how she did it. Like, I can't imagine how tough that was after a while um but she did it and you like you didn't hear her complaining it was pretty amazing and you mentioned earlier that she you know she's a creative force behind the show she's a creator the writer the star executive producer showrunner how does she do it i mean from you observing her from afar how does she manage all of that i i just think you know she, she her vision of chad and the show is so clear and it really it's it's her baby and and when you have a vision that's so clear, the decision-making process and the, the creative process goes smoother. Um, but she had a great team around her. You know, it takes a village um, and she's at the helm. Uh, but literally like between each take, she's, you know, on her phone looking at casting videos or they're like working on a scene. Um, she was continuously working. And I have a feeling when she went home at night, she was still working. Um, uh, I mean, I don't know how she did. It was a marathon. It was crazy. Well, congratulations so much on, on the, the breakout hit. Have they been announced to season two, I'm sure? They have not announced it yet. Well, we're waiting. We're crossing fingers. It's a wonderful show. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I wish you all the luck. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.